Today I've got a subscription box from one of the probably better ones that you can get for the price point. So what we're going to see today is the newest Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty subscription box. So let's do this. This box actually has a little bit of drama behind it. Amazon, these boxes, Smuggler's Bounty, are kind of like co-owned and made by Funko and Amazon. Funko makes them, Amazon sells them. This one has some drama though. Usually they ship out their boxes the end of the month. This one for some reason got delayed almost a week. And originally everybody who is a subscriber of the Smuggler's Bounty box, we got emails that it wasn't going to ship until May. Yeah, so there was quite a bit of fuss online about what's going on. Are we actually going to get it this month or not? But we got it. At least I got mine. But Smuggler's Bounty is an every other month subscription box that's only 30 bucks. So it's a cheaper price point. Great for collectors of Star Wars, Funko, or just like pop culture stuff. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen anybody review this shit. I haven't seen spoilers. So I'm in just a mystery as everybody else. Let's do this mystery style, how does that sound? So we got on top. We have a Star Wars Yoda. Oh, the theme for this month, if I remember correctly, is Dagobah. Pretty sure that's what the theme was. So if it's Dagobah, there's got to be obviously some Yoda and some Luke Skywalker stuff. But the last several Smuggler's Bounty boxes I've received, you usually get an exclusive, well, you almost always, always, get an exclusive Funko Pop. And I've had problems getting mine pretty heavily damaged every single time because the box is too small for the Funko Pop usually. So, this happens this month. So, first thing is a mystery mini of Yoda. And every single one of these is going to be of Yoda. So that's what it's going to look like. So, I'm going to keep this thing sealed because I'm actually just going to put this collectible figurine into one of the mystery boxes that I actually sell. So, yeah, I mean, that's a neat little thing. You know, five, six bucks right there. Okay. Go back in. See what else we got. We have a sticker. Okay. Sticker. So it appears I can feel a huge Funko Pop in here. It's probably going to be a movie moment. That's kind of what we expected for this themed box. It's probably going to be probably a Luke Skywalker, Invader kind of a kind of a feel to it, or it could be Luke Skywalker and Yoda. So let's find out. We got one more small thing though. We have an R two D two. Sticky notes. Well, that's different. R2D2 sticky notes. I did not expect this out of this monthly subscription box. That's a definite. So I'm actually going to keep these because that's kind of awesome. I don't feel. Oh, here's here's the card that tells what's in this box. So it looks like the next theme is Wookiee that's coming out. So probably going to be a Chewbacca exclusive Funko Pop more than likely. Or maybe a Chewbacca Han Solo movie moment kind of thing. Who knows? The other side of this will have spoilers what's in this box. I think the only thing that's left though is the huge Funko Pop. I don't feel anything else. Oh, okay. Dig up a face off. Let me show it to you. There's the Funko Pop. So once again, the Funko Pop is a little bit too small for this box, so it's crammed in there. There it goes. They need to get a little bit bigger boxes when they do these movie moments because the boxes are always too small for them. So here's what we got. We've got the Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader movie moment from whenever Luke and Vader kind of fought 
and then you know Vader's mask kind of evaporated, blew up. You know what I'm saying? The psh, and then Luke's face was underneath of the mask during Luke's kind of uh, you know training on Dagobah with Yoda. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Where he goes in, in, into the cave. So this is the cave scene. So that's kind of what I figured. I figured it'd probably either be Luke or Vader. Or Luke and Yoda. So it's Luke and Vader. So what's my honest views on this Funko Pop? It's not bad. I think, honestly, they could have done this thing a little bit better. Honestly. How cool, though, would it have been if you, it could have been Luke Skywalker with Yoda on his back, you know, whenever, like, Yoda's kind of like the backpack. That would have been a cool Funko Pop. I'm not sure if they've already done that. It's very possible that Funko has already done that Funko Pop. I'm not sure. But I think that one could have been an ultra-cool movie moments. Is that moment in the movie? But, still not bad. So, box condition. Um... Little bit, just a very small hair damage right here because it fits so tight in there that it actually kind of crunched it a little bit. <clears throat> but the front of it has no damage to it. The side's good. The bottom's good. Back's good. So actually, I'd say this is actually about a 9.5 out of 10 condition. So Amazon, good job this month not sending me a completely damaged figure because last time my Funko Pop was pretty heavily damaged. So I will not be keeping this Funko Pop. I will be selling this because I don't collect Funkos. I only resell them. And this should be a pretty easy one to resell. So what do we got? So here it tells everything that's in the box right there. It says, if wisdom you seek, Degoba, you must visit. The Force is strong with this box featuring a movie moment of Luke's cave encounter, a mystery mini Yoda, a Jedi Order decal, and R2-D2 sticky notes. That is everything in this box that you should get. And of course, then there is next month's Star Wars, or not next month, it'll be in two months, Wookiee themed. So, was this worth my $30 that I paid? In stores, this thing would cost about $25, between 20, it'd be about $25 in stores for this movie moment. This is about five bucks. So these two combined are $30. The sticker decal, I'm not saying it's worth anything. The sticky notes, I'm saying are like, honestly, like $3. So I think in terms of value, what I got back, I'd say is about 30 to $35 tops. So spending $30 on this, pretty much you paid full retail price for everything here. It's possible though, this movie moment could actually retail for closer to 30 by itself. That is possible. So if this was a thrift, if this retailed at 30, then you actually, you know, you got like an extra five, seven dollars back in value than what you paid. So would I recommend this box if you're a Star Wars collector? Definitely, because you should definitely enjoy adding these into your Star Wars collection. Would I recommend this box if you're a collector of Funko? Yes, I'd recommend this box if you're a collector of Funko. But if you're not a Star Wars collector or a Funko collector, would, would you have enjoyed this box? Honestly, probably not. Because there's nothing really non-collectible that a non-collector of Star Wars or Funko would enjoy out of this box, more than likely. Maybe sticky notes you can use at your desk. So, that is my honest review of this bi-monthly Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty subscription box through Amazon that's made by Funko. So I give it two big thumbs up. You got the value for what you paid for it. Nothing's damaged this time, so that's a bonus when you don't get damaged product from Amazon. You know what I'm talking about. So next month, we, it will be the Marvel Collector Core Box. And then following month, it'll be Star Wars, the Marvel, Star Wars, Marvel, back and forth. So stay tuned. Next month, you will see the newest Marvel. So with the new Avengers Endgame coming out, Maybe the next box, or maybe in two more Marvel boxes, we might see something to do with Endgame. Hopefully, we'll find out. So, go ahead down below, comment what you think about this box. Comments, your honest, your honest views. I'll see you soon, and I'm out.